The release of adrenaline into the blood is a way that humans have evolved to deal with a fight or flight situation. Let's just imagine that you're a caveman and you're being approached by a rhino with his rather rough looking horn. You know that you've either got to fight the thing off or you've got to run like crazy and get away from it. Either way, you've got to spring into action somehow. Adrenaline gets you ready for the challenge that you might face. The adrenal gland, which is located here as this little sort of hat structure on top of the kidneys, will secrete adrenaline into your bloodstream when you're faced with some sort of danger or some sort of fear. It causes all sorts of different responses in different parts of the body, and we're going to focus on what it does in the heart, lungs, blood vessels, eyes, and the liver. In the heart, it basically causes it to beat faster. This means that because blood is being supplied more quickly to the body's tissues, it means oxygen and glucose are delivered faster, which means there's a faster rate of respiration and more energy supplied. In the lungs, the breathing rate will increase. This means that oxygen is going to be supplied faster, and therefore again, that allows for a faster rate of respiration and more energy supplied. The blood vessels are responsible for making sure that the blood is redirected to the brain and the muscles. Some blood vessels will constrict in the non-essential areas, and this causes the resources in the blood to be sent to where they need it the most, to make sure that more energy is available. In the eyes, the pupils will dilate, they will get wider, which means that more light can enter, and this makes it easier to see the potential danger. Lastly, the liver will release more glucose as a consequence of adrenaline. That means that more glucose is available to the muscles, which again means faster rate of respiration and more energy supplied.